What is going on ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another David Guy Kicks video. And for today's video, I will be using the Angelus paint markers for the first time. Do you guys remember when I used that airbrush for the first time and I took the biggest L of 2017? I don't understand. Maybe it's the airbrush. Cause look, I can I can feel the paint. Oh, hi! <laughs> I've been practicing with it and I feel like I have gotten a lot better since that first cringy video. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, I will leave a link somewhere up here. But this video is not about this airbrush. Wow, I'm getting good at that. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right in to it. We got a set of each of the paint markers. This one being the 3.0 millimeters and this one being the 5.0 millimeters. I will get into both of them later on. Since we have the paint markers, I'm gonna need some colors. So of course, you guys already know I will be using gift box blue to fill up one marker and we'll get black as well. When we fill up the markers with paint, we are gonna need to fill it up with some too thin so that the paint can come out easier and that it will flow much smoother. And last but not least, we will be using a test sneaker. If you guys remember, this is the test sneaker that I used to paint with the airbrush, that fail video that I have gotten better with and I will be dropping more videos of that later on. But today's video is specifically about the paint markers and this is the sneaker that we will be testing it on. All right, so we are gonna start off with the 3.0 millimeter tips. You can purchase these on angelusdirect.com and this is everything that it does come with. 10 of these, one side is chiseled, the other side is round. Next, it does come with two paint droppers or whatever you call these for filling purposes. And if you guys are still having trouble on how to use it, just remember that there's always directions on the back. So it tells you step by step what to do on the back side of the box. Cap it off, take the cap off, take that off, and then we take that off. Make sure you do not lose that. Now that we have our empty marker ready to go, I'm gonna be using black because black's the most common color that I probably might wanna use this with. And I do have my too thin as well. Now for this part, all you do is squeeze, put it inside the paint, and the paint will slowly enter here. Once you have enough paint in here, you squeeze again and you push it inside the paint marker. All right, let me fill this up real quick. These markers are reusable, so make sure you wash this out because you do not want it to clog, just in case you want to reuse it with different colors. All right, now once the paint marker is full with too thin and your color of choice, now it is time to get the little metal thing, dunk it inside. Now you get the spring, push it down, get the tip, make sure that it's completely tightened, shake up the paint marker. The last step you have to do is push down on the tip. So repeat like this. So now we're just waiting for the paint to soak through. You guys can already tell by me pushing down, you can already see the paint coming through. And I recommend you guys doing this before actually attempting a custom. The paint marker is ready, so I'm gonna test it out right here by just doing a couple lines. Wow. This actually flows really good. All right, obviously it works on paper. Now let's test it out on a sneaker. And just like that, you can do simple color swaps. Another reason why I like this is because maybe you don't have the steadiest hands. Maybe a paintbrush is too hard for you to use because I feel like you have more control and what you are painting.
hope you guys got a good idea of what this looks like. Obviously, this isn't my best. Obviously, I was testing it out on a pair of sneakers. I'm sure you guys are capable of doing more and creative things to your sneakers. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys have to do. So if you guys do any customs at all, or specifically with this paint marker, make sure to tag me on Instagram so I can check it out. This was just a little demonstration of what the 3.0 millimeter can do. Now let me show you guys the 5.0 millimeter. Thank you.